Okay. So today we are going to see how we are going to connect connect REST in Pega. For that, actually we need a, a URL which are providing the REST service onto that. So this actually example is all about a delicately like, uh, airport status. Actually from that we can get to know if the flight is getting delayed, what is the weather condition. So and this is mainly used for only US uh, airport uh, only. So that you can have to work for airport of US only. If you give any other airport code, it will not work. So for for um, to configure actually REST service, okay, we need the URL part of it, okay. So you need that service airport, and then the actual status is. If you can see, this is the complete XML request format. So we need the till before the parameter. So we need the URL of before the airport status into that. Okay. And you can go there and then actually like if you go to your designer studio in integration in the connection, you can get create REST integration. Okay. Once you click on to that, new REST integration window will open. There you need to provide the name of your URL. Okay. What it will do? It will try to get that service. Okay. And like all the parameters which is coming. Okay. If you see in this other window, we have invoked that service for a country code SFO. Okay. And we got all other details. Right. What is the like status? What is the weather condition? What is the visibility? Is there any delay? Right. So we got all this condition. So what it will Pega will do? When it will like we pick this URL. It will create the necessary rule for it, okay, and it will create all the properties which is there into that, okay. So if you see in this now, in the next step we need to pass the parameters. So that I told, we are passing airport code, right? So the airport code is the parameter. So we want to make that as parameter, okay. And that I told, there is a query string of the format. Actually, you want into XML or you want that in uh, JSON. Okay. So for that, we are going to add a format field. Okay. So click on to next. Okay. So actually, like this is actually yeah. That actually we have uh, one more is put onto that. So we have get, post, put, and delete. So get is actually you want to retrieve the record. Post is to update the record, put is for insert the record and delete is delete the record. So this is actually you have. So this concept brings me no SQL concept as well. So you don't need any um, SQL to be written. Using this directly you can update or delete the database directly. So that the concept of coming from this methods is coming as you can directly get post, put and delete without any SQL queries. So that is the concept of your coming as no SQLs also. Okay. So for this actually we have get method and you want to test it. Now we can test it in the Pega itself. Okay. So if you want to test it, so if you see we have two param parameters is asking. One is if you like the parameter. So you can give IAD and the format if you want in XML. Okay. And then we can put the test. So it will connect and then let's see the values are retrieved now. Right. So you can save the data. So that is like it will keep the Simulation actually for future people, this data will be used for a simulation purpose. So we say that rest with IAD. Okay. And once you have done, you can close it out. Okay. And you can click next. Same way you can configure post, put, delete, whatever the service actually like depend on database, you need all the four. 
But actually, if you are doing just for like getting information, most of the time we go for get only. Okay. So if you see now, what is is going to create it? It's going to create its uh, separate integration class. Okay. It's going to create uh, connect method like connect rest method. Okay. And then it's going to create uh, data pages. Okay. Like your data types, and then it will going to create the data pages as well. So you can directly using the data pages, it will give you uh, directly. You can use the data page where you want to display the values. Okay. So if you see once you uh, click create, so it will create. Report definition you can use. No, no. You cannot use, you cannot use report. Let's like, see. Report definition can be a method of uh, like source for data page, but you cannot create report definition for it. Okay. Report definition is no, also. The value we are retrieving from that uh, request, right? Can yes. Can we put it in a report definition? No. Report definition is to get the data from a like uh, database, right? Yes. You are not going to put the value in report definition. And this is getting created in the organization level. The yes. If you see in this one, yeah. actually it's created with the organization name and then IT label. Is it a complete class or is it a abstract? Class? This will going to be create uh, this label. Will be will see that one. What it will be going to create? Okay. I'm not sure. It should be complete class only. It should be complete only because it's going to be create instances within it. So it will be complete only. So it's not created in uh, organization level, right? Yeah. So then you can use it everywhere within your like applications, right? Uh, At the top level, it will be there. So you can use it all the rules in the below applications within that organization. So if you can see, it's created. Uh, it's going to create the summary, and then uh, integration class is created. Your data layer is created. Your data class ID is created. Okay, rule sets is created. So everything and data pages also getting created for that. So rule set is different. Services. Sorry. Rule set is different, right? Services. Yeah, rule set actually is created in the name of services. So, so if you want to point to the same rule set, right? No. For actually, actually, always it's a good practice that create it separately. Separately. Because actually, like it's a separate service. If you are don't want to mix up it with other your application, you want to use it separately. You want to get in the data. You want to display that in your application. So don't mix up with your application. Create that. Rest service in a separate rule set and separate class. So when we will use the product rule, right? So that time we. Like see, at, admittedly this rule set will be added into your application. When you run the widget, admittedly all the integration class which we have created, it will be added into your application profile. Then do we need to separately migrate this part, or it will get automatically migrated along with the product rule? No, you have to migrate this one. You you do not. Do this one actually like in the production environment. Actually, you have to do migration of this rule set as well. Okay. So if you say everything is data pages is created, data source is created. Okay. So if you see want to see that, you can open that uh, page. So you can close it out, and then you can see. The data page is contained with the connect rest method. Okay, this is the method name, airport status. Okay, and there is actually like two data transform is getting created. One actually like what it will do? It will convert your values into this one, and then this will actually whatever the values you are getting, it will convert the values into here, into page. Okay, so this is actually what will do? It will take the values from the clipboard. And in the rest, rest request, it will update the values. If you can see that one, the data transform also. Okay, so if you see, there actually value. This is for response. So it will convert the values. If you can see, you can say here multiple things within this one. Okay. So you see all the values which are there. It's getting moved from your uh, request, like whatever the response you get, you want to populate that into one data page uh, into that. So it's in this. Okay. 
Okay, and from here, what we are going to do is we are passing two values, right? Format and the airport code we are passing. So you can pass that as a parameter into this database, and then you can use this activity directly. So anywhere you want this to be displayed, okay, you can uh, call this one and pass this as a parameter on there, and then you can use the values into that page. In the runtime. So this is it. Like if you see, you can create a section that will take time. It will not cover other thing. So how you can use these things? It like just actually data page is already created now. Where even you reference that, the values will come into directly into that one. Okay. So you can test it one more way. Like if you have seen, um, just like I shown from actually from a widget. So if you want to run this data page also. You can run the data page. That will ask you these two values. Okay. So if you say format, it will give you the XML, and I will give you one for SFO. Okay. So you can now uh, you want to see the clipboard. We can open the clipboard for it, and we can use the traces also. So we can see the how connect trace is running. Okay. And then. So you say run record primary page it started with that it runs with that. So if you can see now all the values with they started with the connect trace method. Okay. So there will be two data transform it will do, and then it finally it's getting copied here in the D airport status. Uh, there is a page created. Okay. In that the value is getting copied into that. So if you see now into the clipboard you can see the values. The page will be created with that. So if you see refresh once, okay. standard once more, it will go. So if you see run record primary page, so you can see that is created into the thread label. So you can see the airport status. Okay. So if you are passing the parameters as a four, so in this page all the values are here now. So this actually like contain only these values. The weather actually contain no no values. So That is not getting here. If there is no value, you will not see the uh, particular property value here. If the value contain value only, then you can see here. Okay. So this is the way you can see the like data page is getting populated. Now wherever you want to use the data page, you can use it in a section. You can display the value. Fine.